So when we originally purchased this home, um, it was a, an outdated four level split and it just had the single door uh, straight ahead going into the home. <clears throat> and we had to create a way to separate um, each side. And we don't like uh, tenants sharing um, any part of the home, even the yard sometimes we split, the garage sometimes we split, but we wanted separate laundry, separate furnaces, separate living space in it completely. So what we did was we um, added the second door here and this leads to the upper suite and that leads to the lower, the lower suite. So follow me in here. And before we did any renovations, this wall was opened up to that door so you could walk into the living room. And the, the other wall across from here was, was an open hallway going to the upstairs. We wanted to close that in and uh, soundproof those walls. Sometimes, you know, you can still hear some sound, but we wanted to do the most soundproofing that we could. We did a, a rock saw safe and sound bat in between the wall. We did Sonopan. Um, on either side of the wall, which is a drywall-like material, but it's built for a sound insulation. Then we put two sheets of drywall, so there's four sheets of drywall, two sheets of sonopan, and then your sound insulation. So that's through these walls and through the ceiling joist going to the basement. Anyways, we made a big living room here, just an open space as you walk in. I'm trying to create a real open concept, dining room and kitchen, kitchen area. There used to be a wall here before, um, we want to put up a, like a fur beam, wrap that. It's an LVL engineered beam underneath. And really opened up this kitchen area um, to be just a really practical, practical space. Um, we also have a separate laundry in each unit. So we created a, a laundry um, closet here. Because again, we just don't want to be splitting. Uh, anything with these suites. We have a pantry space. This goes to the backyard. So the upstairs tenants do have a front door and a back door. This leads to a, a, a really big detached double garage um, that we're actually thinking of putting a, a fence down the center of this yard. It's big enough where the, the lower suited tenants can take one half of the yard and the upper um, tenants can take the other half of the yard but we're still getting to that stage. And we find that typically um, tenants who take the upper floor will rent the garage. And in the bungalow suite at homes, typically the entrance to the upper suite is in the front and the lower suite is in the basement. So there, if you're renting the garage, you'd have to walk all the way around the house where this is kind of uh, creating a shortcut to get there. Matt's just showing you the upstairs bathroom there that we redid. That was uh, already there. We didn't change any of the layout to this uh, upstairs. It's three bedrooms. We left one empty. We staged one as an office and we turned, uh, or we also staged the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. A, a big bonus to this ho home is that we do have a two-piece ensuite, which in this era, there it's not uh, too common to have an ensuite. So the upstairs unit does get the benefit of a, a, an extra ensuite. We do all new windows, um, all new basically everything. Shingles, insulation, electrical, plumbing, top to bottom, redone. We also put vinyl plank uh, everywhere. We just find that carpet will look good. It also helps with sound dampening in the first year or two. But after that, we just find it doesn't last. And uh, if we're gonna have renters in here, um, we just find uh, we've had a, a better success rate with 100% uh, waterproof luxury vinyl plank uh, on the floor throughout. So <clears throat> that's what we went with. 
we'll keep on going. I'll show you the downstairs suite. So this this used to be opened up. We closed it off. Again, just to um, completely have two separate suites. We do separate uh, doorbells, separate uh, mail. And so, yeah, this is nice because uh, a lot of the times the lower suite tenants will just park in the front of the home. And so it's a, a quick walk um, to get to your suite instead of having to go all the way around the house. So that's what we did. Again, close this off, close this off, created just an entryway to get to your lower suite. Um, wanted to build a closet so that you have uh, some space for your coats when you walk in. And uh, we'll walk down to this level, which has massive windows, a lot of light coming through. Uh, we created kind of a, a feature wall with a, you know, TV and a, the electric fireplace, um, maybe a spot for a desk or something there. Again, put up a, a full beam to really open it up, make the space as big and open as possible. There used to be a bedroom here with the layout. Uh, a small living room, and then a full bathroom. And we actually converted that just to have more storage. We did a pantry and then a half bath. So the nice thing is, is that we're separating the bedroom space from the entertainment space. So if you have some people over, you have kind of the fancier bathroom, half bathroom for them, and just a, a, a cleaner living and kitchen space here. We put in a barn door just to save some, get some space, give it a different look. And then we keep on going, so we'll go down to the fourth level here, where we really wanted to plan uh, the functionality of a basement suite. Sometimes suites don't have a full kitchen, they don't have a lot of storage, the basement's uh, bedrooms might be tight. Uh, we wanted to create a lot of storage, so we have some really deep, big closets here. Um, we have another linen closet around the corner. Your fire rated door, your laundry is here. We have uh, two separate high efficient furnaces and we do a single tank, typically a water tank, um, but we do an oversized tank so that we're not having any issues of running low on hot water. I think this is a 70 gallon, which typically, you know, when you buy these older homes, they usually have a 40 gallon tank. We went with um, almost double, double that. Uh, there's the first bedroom. Your closet space. We have a, another linen closet here, as well as a, a full bathroom. And then the uh, primary bedroom here. We need to have uh, egress requirements and uh, some homes we have to cut the concrete to make it um, the right size for a, for a legal um, egress window. These windows actually are, are the smaller size where they still open up if you need air, but if you need the, the actual egress, they open right up. So that saved us the hassle of cutting into your foundation or you know, messing with the foundation at all is a, is a really good foundation when, you know, we uh, gutted the basement. So we took the opportunity to try out these windows and we love it. We also did a really, really big deep uh, closet here, which again, just isn't standard in a, in a lot of basement suite units and, and this room's just, just massive. So that's about it. If you have any questions or comments or yeah, you want to connect, please uh, reach out to me. I'm on Instagram as Clean Cut Real Estate. Uh, same with Facebook. Um, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a realtor as well. So you can uh, find me online. 1912 36th Street is the address here. But we are doing other suites in, in Edmonton. So uh, 
Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.